What's up friends? Today we're going to be going over our AI powered captioning tool for Premiere Pro and how you can use it to super quickly add captions, relevant emojis, and stock media to your content, saving you a bunch of time. It seems like every piece of content these days needs captions and our tool makes it an absolute breeze. With extremely accurate transcriptions, endless customization, and being powered by ChatGPT, you'll have ready to post caption videos in a matter of seconds. Brevity is our new Premiere tool that is super powerful creating social media content inside of Premiere. There are two main features of the tool, auto cut and then captions. Auto cut allows you to take long form content and automatically edit it into bite sized social ready sequences. It uses AI to identify those core segments in long form content such as podcasts or interviews and then automatically edit them into new sequences. If you're interested in learning more about the auto cut feature, please take a look at our previous demo video. But let's jump into just how easy it is to create captions using Brevity. So as you can see, I'm working on a social clip for a client's podcast and the edit is pretty much ready to go. We just wanna add some emojis, captions, and also some GIFs to go along with it. So first things first, let's go ahead and set our in and out points for the sequence. I've already done that, so we can go ahead and just click on the captions button. Inside of here, you'll see how many credits your account has available to use and also how many credits this captioning job will take. So we'll go ahead and click on create. The tool is going to render out the audio from the sequence and then use our AI transcription service to precisely transcribe the video. Now, our AI transcription service is much more accurate than Premiere's. Instead of wasting time combing through your transcript and manually fixing words and grammar, Brevity gets it right on the first go with 99% accuracy. Once the sequence has been transcribed, which takes less than a minute, the tool will insert a new caption file into your sequence and then load up the captions into the panel. You'll find a familiar text-based layout that we can use to start enhancing and customizing our captions. Let's start with the style tab. In here, you'll be able to control a bunch of fun parameters to customize your captions. At the top section, you can control things such as positioning, padding, and scale. You can control the background and the background color. Below that, you'll be able to get access to a bunch of different text styling options, such as the font, the leading, tracking, following if you want to enable following words, uh, text color, text case, stroke color, stroke width, and then below that, we have another section specifically for the active spoken word. So we can either enable this or disable this. In the animation dropdown, you can control how the active text is being animated. So right now the default is pop, but there's a few others in here to pick from, and we're adding a bunch more as we develop more of this tool. Below that, we can choose the intensity of the animation. So we can either have it be super intense. Elaborate on that just a little bit, the importance of that or we can drop this down and have it be very subtle. Something that can be shared with people. And of course we have options such as tracking, the text color, the case, and then also stroke and stroke width. Now below that, we have another section specifically for the highlighted words inside of your transcript. So we can have separate animation styles, different tracking, different colors, and also different strokes all inside of here. Now, speaking of highlights, let's go ahead and transition over to the highlight tool. So when you have the highlight tool enabled inside of Brevity, you can just start clicking on words to automatically highlight them. And as you can see, it updates automatically inside of our sequence here. Now, if we don't want to manually go through this transcript and comb through and find those keyword words, we can go ahead and just click on the Suggest Highlights button. This is going to use AI to automatically identify some keyword worthy words inside of our transcript and then automatically highlight them for us. It's gone through and it's suggested some different highlights for our words. And if we don't want to use these ones, we can either reset them or we can just click on Suggest Highlights again to get even more. Now that we have some suggested highlights inside of here, let's go ahead and get some relevant emojis for what's being talked about inside of our captions. So we'll go ahead and click on the media tool here. Now inside of here, let's just go ahead and click on suggest emojis. This is going to use AI to identify some different segments inside of our transcript that can be represented by an emoji. Great, so that just finished. And as you can see, we have a bunch of suggested emojis appearing next to our captions here. If we scroll through here, we can kind of see what some of these suggested emojis are. So the first part of this video, it says, I want to pause you there because I think that's. And as you can see, we have suggested the pause emoji. 
And then down below here, we have a light bulb emoji for the audience can really take away anybody that has ideas. So talking about ideas and thought can be represented by the light bulb emoji. And it's gone through this entire video and suggested different emojis for various parts of the transcript. Now, if we hover over one of these emojis, it's going to expand the view a little bit and we can either delete it straight from here or import it straight from here. Now, if we don't wanna go through and manually import all of these, we can go ahead and just click on the import pending and that's going to go through, download each emoji and insert it at the correct time in our sequence right above where the captions live. Super quick, super easy. Imagine going through and manually identifying these segments, manually going and finding the emoji file, downloading it, importing it into Premiere, inserting it into your sequence, resizing it. It takes forever, but with our tool, it's just a couple of clicks and you're done. Super great suggested AI emojis right inside of your sequence. So now that we have all of these emojis imported into our sequence, let's go ahead and add a couple of suggested GIFs or stock media to go along with the video. So let's go find a good section inside of here that can be represented by a good stock video or GIF. Well, maybe this part right here where one of the speakers says, one thing that I've observed about people, they say they want to start a business or be an entrepreneur. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select this section. And as soon as I select that section, we're going to use AI to identify the sentiment or a good keyword that's being talked about inside of our selection to then go search stock media for. So as you can see, AI suggested that we search for entrepreneur based off of that selection that we made. And we can browse through a bunch of different stock media providers to find good content for our video. So right now we're looking at the Giphy library and more specifically, we're looking at stickers, which are basically GIFs with transparent backgrounds. So there's a bunch of different relevant entrepreneur stickers inside of here. We can look at GIFs as well. We can also look at emojis and then Pexels as well, which is a stock video provider. So I'm gonna find a good stock video that goes along with entrepreneurship and what's being talked about inside of this video. Uh, I think I like this one. So before we go ahead and click on select, let's select where we want this video to be placed inside of our sequence. So we can have it either appear at the top, the center, bottom, full screen, fit screen. Um, but for this one, I'm just gonna go with fit screen bottom. Great, and then let's just go ahead and select this video. Our tool is going to automatically download it, insert it, and cut it at the right time, and also set the location to be that fit screen bottom here. So now that we've got that inserted, we can go ahead and trim this video if we want a little bit. Maybe we don't want it to be as long. Let's just start it on say. And that's going to automatically adjust that inside of our video. And I think we're pretty good to go here. Now let's move to the last tool of the brevity captioning feature. And that's going to be the paragraph tool. This will allow us to format how the lines appear inside of our captions. So if we want to have more than one line, we can just increase this maybe to be four. And it's going to all update automatically both inside of the panel and then inside of our video as well. But I'm gonna set this back to be two. Maybe we don't want these lines to be as long. We can just bring this character count down. This is all updating automatically here. Super quick, super easy adjustments. Now, if we want to split the speakers for when a new speaker comes on, for instance, one speaker finishes talking and then another speaker starts, we want to split up those captions so that they're on different lines. We can go ahead and just click on split speakers and that's going to automatically split up our captions so that new speakers appear on new lines. So we can go ahead and manually click on these words too if we want to manually change the paragraph and formatting. Super easy just to click around on here and get that ideal formatting. So that has been the brevity captioning tool and it makes generating fun and exciting captions extremely easy. If you're creating a lot of captions for your edits, definitely give our tool a try. It's guaranteed to save you a bunch of time and just make the job super fun and quick. The tool is currently in beta mode, so you'll be able to install it and test it out right now for free. Just head over to brevity.pro to get started. If you have any feedback, feature requests, new animation styles or bugs, whatever it is, please reach out to us. All that we wanna do is make video editors jobs easier and quicker. So if you can help us by giving us some sort of feedback, we'd be super appreciative. Thanks so much for watching and this has been the Brevity Captioning Tool.